guys, it's Dear Natural 62. Recap, check out my last video. I show you how to make glitter nail polish. Think about it, you can make your own glittered nail polish for the holidays. You know, just check out that video. Give me a thumbs up in that video if you truly enjoyed it and so I can do more. It's water and marble time. And because of the holidays, I wanted to do something ultra special, ultra special. I'm going to be water marbling Christmas ornaments. With Christmas right around the corner, did you know that you can water marble your Christmas ornaments? Every year I usually pick different colors for the tree. So since I'm not going to be using these, these Christmas ornaments, make sure you get your parents permission. I don't want her to be like, she destroyed all my ornaments. So make sure you get your parents permission if you're doing this or what you can do is ask your mom or dad to buy you a box of ornaments from the 99 cent store preferably one with no design on it doesn't matter if it's a solid color because you can work with it make sure it's a light solid color though because then it, the design will pop out more and if you can even find the clear ones or the white ornaments that will be even better. I knew that I wasn't going to be using these two ornaments. So what's my famous word? Let's get started. So for my first two looks, I'm going to be using these two colors. I'll list the product names down below. This is OPI and this is China Glaze, the textured polish. So let's get started. So as usual, I'll answer some questions. Yes, I'm using regular room temperature water. This is regular tap water. This is not bottled water, filtered water. It's just regular tap water. And yes, I'm using textured polish and I'm using glitter. So that was another question I always get. Can you use different types of polishes? Can you use glitter polishes? I say yes to all just make sure they're not thick in consistency because then they won't spread you ever notice that you drop one and it opens up beautifully you get all excited you drop the second drop and you're like uh-oh what happened wonk wonk it won't spread your polish is too thick so try using a polish thinner you can get those at like Sally's any type of beauty supply store Ulta um, Essie has one there's so many brands that have them now so I currently use the one from Sally's and it's called Beauty Secrets this is so adorable the reason I wanted to use a textured polish is because I wanted the ball the ornament I shouldn't say ball <laughs> the ornament to have some dimension to it so I thought the textured would seem so cute on there now this came out so pretty I'm not even going to mess around with it now I'm gonna do this one on the larger ball this is how I would hold it if I were you grab the ornament by the top like this so you can secure it hold the top and then go down go all the way down because you shouldn't even be able to cover the whole ball I think you're gonna get halfway through if there's anything on top make sure you clean the surface of the water Kurt I just dipped my finger because I can clearly see there's nothing on top left everything came on the ball because of the size of it now what I'm using here the size of this 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 is an old Bath and Body Works candle. You know, after the candles are down to the bare minimum, I usually like clean them out and I use them for so many other things. Um, I'll be showing you a room tour so you can see all my funky tumbler DIYs that I've done in my room. So I hope you enjoy that. So let's pull out gently. And look how gorgeous that is. Oh, let me come down so like I'm in focus. Look how gorgeous that is. That's absolutely adorable. Now, if you want to clean the edges of, let's say, your design like messed up around the edges, all you need is a Q-tip and some acetone and you can literally wipe off if you want to make it into like a design also, like a wavy pattern. So you can use that. It won't destroy your ornament because I've been using that. Um, it'll actually, once this completely dries, you just shine it off. Just buff it with a towel and wipe it off after it's completely dried. After. But you can do so many things. 
You notice? That's with the Q-tip and the nail polish remover. I think that's so cute. And I think that deserves a thumbs up right about now. So you should be clicking that thumbs up. Because where else can you see this but at Dear Natural 62? So moving on to the smaller one. So now we're going to do a smaller ball here. Um, this one's green, so what I'm going to do is contrasting colors. I'm going to do the orange and gold. I think that'll look so cute on this green. The reason I'm using gold is because, I don't know, gold reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> That's why. So now another common question I get is, can you dip more than one drops in the water? Yes, you can. If you want your color to appear darker, you, you most definitely can. Drop more than one drop of water, more than one drop in the water. I don't know where the accent came from, but sometimes you know what? I just burst into accents. It's just my multi-personality and I just absolutely love it. <laughs> should have fun with this most people are like why are you so happy and stuff why not do you want me like to be doing this and crying and being like oh my god it's another water marble disaster or would you like me to be like hey what's up guys <laughs> i think you'd rather me be like hey what's up guys to be honest <laughs> so i'm gonna stop at that because that looks kind of cool it kind of reminds me of like the rose that I did a couple of videos back definitely check out that video um, of the black rose the abstract of it that's what this kind of looks like to me so I'm gonna play around with that so again hold it from the top holding making sure you secure this so you can hold it down and then dip down and then with this, because there's so much of an excess of polish, remember what I said, blow on the water. And all that does is accelerates the dryness. It accelerates how fast the polish dries in the water. And the reason you're doing this is because all my loyal fans should know this by now. It's so that when you pull up your design, nothing comes up on it, usually on your finger, but also on your ornament. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Notice how the green fades into the orange. Oh my God. Tell me that's not gorgeous. Like, tr tr try to tell me. Try to tell me right now that that's not gorgeous. And that you're not about to try this. <laughs> the minute you click off this video that you're not about to try this. <laughs> This is so adorable. Look how pretty this is. I think all of them came out so adorable. Again, it's Dear Natural 62. Don't forget to thumbs up this video because you know you like this. Even my haters, because I know I have a few that's always hating my videos, but always coming back to watch them. Even my haters will love this because it's the holiday spirit. So even you should be giving this video a thumbs up. Again, it's Dear Natural 62. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy holidays. Stay tuned for something on Wednesday because as you know, I have videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but Wednesday's a huge video. I hope you enjoy that because I enjoyed making it. And definitely, if you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, follow me on Twitter, Instagram at DearNatural62. And don't forget to stop by my Facebook fan page at DearNatural62. Take care. Bye-bye.